This is your boy Nose Gamer here guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all some FIFA 19 sniping and mass bidding filters that will help y'all make a good amount of coins on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. I have a lot of people always DM me asking me, I have 100,000 coins, I have 150,000 coins. What should I do? What can I do? Um, and, and how can I make coins with this and without investing it? How can I make coins fast? That is sniping and mass bidding on informs and other cards. So I'm going to show y'all um, the best informs to snipe from Team of the Week 19. I'm also going to explain some other uh, players you can be sniping. So guys, if you are new to the channel, um, this whole channel is based on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Trading. So if you want to learn how to trade, if you want to learn how to make millions of coins, if you want to see videos on, on sniping and mass bidding filters, best trading method videos um, investment guide videos guys feel free to subscribe to the channel hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button to turn on post notifications so you do know when i post a new video and smash a like on the video let's try to get let's try to get 30 likes on this video share this video with everyone you know and i'm going to try to put out a lot of sniping and mass bidding filters uh videos out for y'all over the next few weeks to help y'all build up coins for team of the season and for, for for some other promotions that are getting ready to come up uh, on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Um, so if you have any trading questions or, or any questions um, or any squad related questions, um, feel free to DM me on Twitter at Nails Gaming. Follow me, DM me on Twitter. I do have a game in Twitter, a couple thousand followers on there. I do post trading methods and stuff on there at Nails Gaming. That link is in the description. If you don't have Twitter, feel free to follow me and DM me on Instagram at Deontay Nails. But let's get into the video for today, guys. Um, also, one last thing. If you want to see me trade and, and, and play Foot Champs and Division Rivals Live, twitch.tv slash Nails Gaming. That link is in the description. Go follow me on Twitch. Um, and I will be streaming every day around 6 p.m. UK time is when I will be starting my stream. Uh, but let's get into the video. All right, so guys, here's the thing. When you're looking at sniping informs, you always want to, and, and, and here's the thing, when you're sniping informs in cars over 10,000 coins, you want to make at least 10%. So you want to make, um, I would say 1,000, if, if, you're, if you're sniping a player between 10,000 and 20,000 coins, you want to at least make at least 1,000 coins. When you hit that 20k mark, you want to start making at least 1,500 to 2,000. Um, so you want to at least try to make between 8 and 10% of what you spend um, on, on the card. So you want to make... If you if you're sniping a car around fifteen thousand coins, you want you want to make generally at least a thousand coins, a thousand fifteen hundred coins per car. Um, so with that being said, the informs you do want to snipe, you do want to snipe informs that are above thirteen thousand coins. Why is that? Because of the whole um, their their minimum price, guys. They can't go up under like nine thousand seven hundred coins or something like that. So with that being said, you do want to look for informs that are that are around eighty one to eighty. 485 rated that are in that price range between 13 and 30,000 coins. You don't want to go over 30 because you're going to start paying taxes and you're going to start getting heavily taxed, which is going to cost you to have to pay a little bit less for the card, and that's going to take away uh, from the chances that you can have at, at sniping one of those cards. Um, but you can still try to snipe the higher price informs, but if you want consistent results and be able to consistently snipe informs um, and make a ton of coins doing it, you want to snipe those there's those 13 to 30k informs. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go over and I'm going to tell you all the informs um, that are, are, are really good to snipe right now. James Collins, he's 13,000 coins on PS, or sorry, he's 15,000 coins on PS4, 13.5 on Xbox One. Um, this honor, um, this honor Ryu guy, or however you say his name, he's around 15,000, or sorry, he's around 14,500 on PS4, 14,500 on Xbox One. Shaikar, he is a BPL uh, center back, always a good, always good, um, good to snipe these BPL players because they're they're really volatile. People are always selling them. They're they're getting packed a lot because he is from a good league. Um, so he's 15,000 coins on both consoles. Um, Joda. Um, he is 16,000 or 17,000 on both consoles, guys. Uh, Rebic, uh, let's see, where is Rebic at? Rebic is right here, 82 overall, 17,000 coins on both consoles. Uh, Sorias is 17,000 coins on both consoles. Arias is 18,000 on both consoles. Miriel um, is is 22,000 on both consoles. Zapata. Um, right here, he is 26,000 on PS4, 25,000 on Xbox One. And then Clicione, guys, he is also 28,000 on both consoles. So those are the informs that you're going to be really looking to snipe. Um, those are the best ones to snipe from this team of the week. 
And so what you would do is, well, when I say snipe or mass bid, what you would do is you pick an inform, guys. So let's say you have a hundred thousand. And guys, let me stress this: you want to at least have a hundred thousand coins if you're sniping these informs, because you don't want to, for example, you don't want to have 15 20 000 coins and put all your coins into an inform and sniping it and when you can kind of snipe a couple informs and you can snipe a couple cheaper players as well while those informs are, are selling um so um with that being said the way i mean the way you snipe it and win these cars on the bid is doing this i'm going to show y'all i'm going to use let's use jota for example because jota is a bpl player um what you would do is you go to the transform market um and you type in his name so you go jota All right, and you go special card. All right, so what you want to do is you want to find his buy now. Um, you don't want to find his lowest buy now, guys. So what I mean by that is you don't want to go 17, or he might be a little more than 17,000. You don't want to go. Uh, you don't want to find. Look at his buy now at that 59th minute because I mean you can if you, if you're willing to wait just a few minutes, you're going to be able to make a little bit more coins. Um, so that's just a simple fact of the matter. He's 17,000 coins right off the rip. He's 17.5 if you're willing to wait um, a little bit, maybe even 30, 45 minutes. You want to find that that price around the, the 40, the 40, 35, 40 minute mark. Right now, it's really, really early in the UK. It's like 10 a.m. But when it when it becomes around 12 a.m. Um, to to around t midnight UK time, though this that's the prime time for sniping these cards, guys. Um, maybe even like 1 or 2 p.m. UK time to around midnight. Um, U, uh, PM UK time that is the best time to snipe these cards so it is going to be a little bit different the market is a little bit weird right now so basically what you want to do is you want to find his price uh, around that 45th minute mark 40 35 40 minute mark um, so let's say he's going for 17.5 at that 40 minute mark um, and so you're going to be able to snipe him um, for and, and sell him for 17.5 uh, so you got to you got to put in um, the tax, so you got to think to yourself, um, how much is he going to? How much is he, am I going to get taxed on this? So five percent taxes. Um, so you're going to get taxed around 850 coins, a little bit more than 800, around 900 coins actually, guys. We'll just say 900. So you're going to have to go down 900 coins. So you're going to have to automatically go down a thousand um, because there is no 950. Um, so a thousand coins uh, will put you at 16.5. Then you also want to go down another thousand or 750 because you want to make at least 750 to a thousand coins so then what you would do is you simply just try to snipe it at that price and and, and for example it, the price that you want to try to pick up uh yota for is around uh 17,000 or 15,000 uh 750 coins and so that's what you would do you try to pick him up on the snipe and you can do that for all those informs i'll show you the informs again i'll, I'll explain them um, and if you can't win them on the snipe, like I said, I'm not going to win any right now. It's super, super early. You would go um, to, you type in the same thing, the same price for his uh, maximum bid price, and you try to go win them on the bid. Simple, easy enough. Uh, try to win them on the bid, and then you relist them, and you, you can make a couple, you can make 750 to 1,500, 2,000 coins, maybe even more, depending on how much you get the card for. Um, so with that being said, you can do that for all the informs. Um, all these informs, I'm going to explain them and go over them one more time. Um, so all the 81s on the bench, all the 81s, 82s, so Collins, Joda, Sorius, Muriel, uh, Anariku, Shar, or Shar, I don't know how to say his name, Shar, um, Clichione, um Arias, uh, Ribic, and uh, Zapata. So those are the informs you want to look at at sniping, winning on the mass bid, and, and quick flipping and making a lot of coins using those. Um, now these I would stay away from. They're too cheap. You're not going to be able to to really make profit from those. And then also the higher rated cards, I would stay away from those because they're going to be less. Li you're going to have a less likely chance of sniping those. And then also guys, if you are on a budget, if you don't have a ton of coins. Um, which I understand some people don't um, right now with the with the team of the week um, SBC impacts uh, or, or in, in the store in the SBC section you can snipe uh, 83 overall it's like Savic guys like Savic let's see he's an 83 I think he's going for what 20 2600 now nah, you can probably sell him for 3k so at, at that at the 59th minute mark you can sell him for 2600 if you're willing to wait a little bit you can probably sell him for 2800 let's see 2800 
So around the perfect 2800 is around the 30 40 minute mark. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you want to make when you're only spending 200 coins or, or 3,000 coins, you're gonna want to make three 300 coins, th 250 300 coins, um, maybe even 500 max. But so for example, with this card, if you make 300 coins, 350 coins, that's good profit. But even 250 coins is good profit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to um, you're gonna get taxed if you sell it for 3,000, you're gonna get taxed 150 coins. So you want to at least go down from 3,800 to at least I would say no I would say 2400 2400 is a good price maybe 2500 but you're not gonna make as much you're only gonna make like 250 coin or 150 coins or you're not gonna make that much so I'll go down to 200 uh, 2400 coins and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you're just gonna try to snipe it at, at, at 2400 coins and you're gonna make around 250 if you get it for for 2400 and you will see an occasional uh, card get listed for super super cheap uh, like maybe even 2,000 or 1,800 and then you'll be able to make a couple hundred coins um, on that So that's a, I mean that's some sniping and mass bidding filters for y'all if y'all want to see some more I will go in more in depth do that at a better time so I can actually snipe and, and win some of these cards live for y'all And I'll do some really I do some I'll do some cheaper players um, Maybe five eight maybe two to five K players and then and then at the end do some more expensive players again but guys, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. It's me, Boy Nose Gaming. I'm out. Peace out, guys.